Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Discovering SCP. I'm your host, Tanani. Sadly, Darnell isn't here this week, but I'm sure you'll get used to that after a while. Today I wanted to talk about a particular creature that was trapped in the caverns of SCP-946 for about two months. I don't know much about the creature beyond the basic facts, but it is likely to have been a centaur. The entire story is too long to try to explain on the podcast, so you'll just have to get the official release from the Foundation. All you have to do is sign up for our mailing list and you'll get notified every time we release something new. We only send out a new episode once a month, so signing up is easy and totally free. I'd like to take a moment to thank Darnell for being so generous with the use of his website. While I've only been managing the podcast for a few months, the entire SCP Foundation website has existed for nearly 20 years. I'd also like to acknowledge Darlene Donahan for providing a guest narration for SCP-460. Our second article for today is the first chapter of the SCP Foundation Researcher Handbook. I'm proud to say this is the first time I've been part of the creative process of writing a document. If you like what you read in the pages of SCP Numbrara, I highly recommend checking out the SCP Foundation Researcher Handbook, a full-length fictional resource filled with fictional documents related to SCP number TARs and other properties of SCP. For more on SCP, take a look at SCP Researcher Summary and Addendum. And if you've been looking for a bit more on D-Class and the structure of SCP, I highly recommend D-Class and Procedures for Research on SCP. For more information about SCP-946, take a look at Project Numbertas and SCP Researcher Briefing Files. Now for the comment reading. Comedy Man Kelp says, Cool podcast, the story is good. I like the background music better, though. Mike Adams says, I can't comment on the video if it doesn't exist, but the podcast is excellent. Stephanie Rogers says, Nice podcast. It's so awesome to have a fictional story taken seriously. This story really shows how smart and creative people can be. Speedy Dave says, Hi. While I'm having an absolute blast with the SCP Foundation show, I'm too busy to contribute. Your show, however, is excellent. Thank you for having me on. The Crypto Jewish One says, Dude, you're amazing. I can't even tell if this is a joke or not. What an awesome concept. Congratulations. Tom Bigwood says, Only one blog comment about SCP. This is awesome. Alpha Cabrini says, What? That's terrible. I want my product. I have a product that does that. Alex Athau says, Hi. It's good to see that you've been able to keep it together. You're on top of your game. Benjamin Pelequin says, Really nice podcast. You should be proud. Thank you for listening, everyone. And always remember, if you ever find SCP, don't kill it. Stay tuned for more episodes of Discovering SCP. Disclosure. All information related to SCP's article's author, Tim Durney, and all information related to SCP's SCP researcher briefing files come directly from their websites. Project number TALS and SCP researcher briefing files are properties of the SCP Foundation. Narcissist containment procedures are included in the information that accompanies SCP-1066. Consequential compulsive 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 SCP Foundation researcher briefing files are included in the information that accompanies SCP number R's. Correspondence with SCP researcher Tanhani is marked as off-conf. Project number R's and SCP researcher briefing files are included in all information that accompanies SCP number R. Copyright 2017 SCP Foundation. All rights reserved. Submit stories to SCP researcher Michael Holmes or Project number R. Project Number Tars is published under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derives 3.0 License and